guys, welcome back for another video. If you are new here, my name is Lulu. In today's video, I have an Abercrombie & Fitch denim haul for you, which is super exciting because these are some of my favorite pairs of jeans and I feel like you guys are gonna love them as well. I'm also gonna show you just a little bit of styling for each pair and just what I would pair with it as well. So without further ado, we'll jump right into today's video and get started. So because I'm also gonna be showing you not only the denim, but each pair styled and how I would wear it, I am gonna be showing a very simple base layer that I'm gonna wear with each pair of denim that I have. So I have this little cropped tank with a kind of like a built-in bra from Airy. And I really love this built-in bra. It's a size extra, extra large. I will say if you are a little bit larger chested, it is a little bit snug around my chest, but it still fits really nicely. So I'm gonna wear this underneath all of the different denim paired with the outfits today. All right, so the very first pair that I have on are gonna be these 90s high-rise baggy jeans from Abercrombie. And I did get them in the rip style. They do have a couple of different other various like colorings and I'll, you can also get them without rips or with rips but I really loved the ripped detail in the knees I think it makes it look really cute and for height reference I am 5'7 and I decided to get these in a long because I wanted to be able to wear my super little cute pumps and boots with them and have them actually be long enough for the look but overall I absolutely love them and I always get my denim jeans from Abercrombie in the non curve love line. I just feel like they fit me a little bit better even though I am super curvy. It just seems to like work better for me. So these are the non curve line jeans, but all in all, I'm actually really obsessed and they are super comfortable. And I love that they have a slight amount of stretch in them. So that way the knee part's not gonna rip further. You know what I'm talking about if you have ever had jeans like these. Um, but yeah, the butt feels really good. There's not really a big waist gap, which is really nice because normally the curve level will help with that. But this one fits really nicely all over. And I love how it just kind of smooths me out as well. And what I'm thinking for pairing with these in particular, I'm gonna style these more as like date night out since I have my little silver pumps on um, and kind of build that outfit out. All right, so for styling, I do love to always pair something a little more cropped with it because they are baggier, looser jeans or a sweater tucked in. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I have this super gorgeous, really shiny sweater from Zara that I think is gonna look so cute with it. And I am gonna do a little bit of like a French tuck in the front. So I have this top and I'm gonna just tuck the front in like so cute for a little like date night moment and then because it is also a little bit cold a longer jacket would look nice with it so I also have this one from Zara it's actually from the men's section a little more oversized trench like vibe to kind of pair with it and then since I'm kind of going with like this liquid metal silver I'm gonna also pair with a rhinestone bag so I have this bag right here, and then this is just kind of the completed look right here. All right, so this next pair is the mixed fabric 90s ultra high rise jeans, and I did also get these in a size 34, but I went with the length of a short because I love the idea of having these paired with a really cute, little boot but I love how they hit a little bit higher on my leg and then to kind of slim out my body pairing it with a boot that is just a little bit slimmer and not super chunky just kind of makes you look a little bit leaner so I love these and I love playing around with the different lengths of my denim don't be afraid to get a size long like I just showed you or a size short like these um, I always kind of play with the lengths depending on how I want them to fit and these are so comfortable Sometimes like leather pants can be a little bit rigid, but I love Abercrombie's leather and these are half leather. So half leather on the back and then they have the denim on the front, which has a nice stretch. There's zero back gap, super comfy all around. 
and I just really love the way these fit. So again, as like my base layer, I do have that same tank top on from Aerie. I would recommend when it's super cold outside, like it has been, to do it with a long sleeve like tank top or a long sleeve bodysuit, but mine is in the washer right now. So that's why I'm showing you with just a normal like summer tank top. But I am gonna pair it with this coat that I got from a thrift shop randomly in Tokyo when I was shopping. And I love thrift shopping here because they have some of the best coats and just like different stuff that you can't really find other places and for such a really good price like i think i paid maybe 20 dollars for this coat and it's a wool coat which i love the idea of having something longer lined with a cropped pant because it kind of also helps elongate your body just like the shoes and then i'm also going to pair it with my adorable Teddy Blake bag. I love this one because it matches perfectly with my coat. It has that really nice like crocodile texture. And I did get this a um, couple months back and I have been really just loving this bag. They are having a really big sale coming up for Valentine's Day and offering 70% off, which is so amazing. It's all handmade Italian leather, super beautiful. I love how it kind of gives me a little bit of like Hermes vibes mixed with um, my YSL bag, the Cassandra that I always show you guys. Kind of has both of those, but such a good price point. So if you're looking for a luxury bag, but don't want the price tag, this is the bag for you. And yeah, I'm going to pair it with this. And then I do want to add in a little bit of color into my outfit because I do have on my kind of dark Bordeaux heeled boots. So I am going to pair it also with my acne duped little scarf right here for just kind of this like full, really cute little look. So the last pair that I got from Abercrombie are these 90s straight leg jeans. So these kind of have that classic, just like 90s vibe, nice and loose. Um, I did decide to do these in a size 35 and I did them in a regular length. So being 5'7", these are the perfect length if you wanna wear flat shoes. I just have my little Samba sneakers on right now from Adidas and they are the perfect length. No dragging, nothing like that. So I love the way these fit. However, I would have probably sized in my normal size, which is a 34. We do have some room in the back that I think would fit a little bit nicer if I didn't. I was just hoping that they'd be nice and loose, which is the look I was going for. So I'm probably going to exchange these and get a little bit of a smaller sizing for them um, and just kind of go to my normal size. But all in all, I do really love the way these fit. And I think once I have the correct size, especially with the waist gap sealed in, these are gonna be perfect. So I do really love the way that they fit. So I think because these jeans are more of like a relaxed, casual vibe, I do love them with sneakers. I think it kind of gives a more like athletic look and just more of like a casual look. So I am gonna do my little puffer jacket. I have this little black one from Shein. Um, it's surprisingly really warm. I wore it in the snow and I love it. And again, because these are more like relaxed and looser, I want to do stuff that's a little bit more cropped, a little bit tighter. That way my body doesn't get lost in the whole outfit and drown itself out. So that's why I have this little puffer on that's a little bit more cropped. And then I did want to do my little LA Dodgers hat in white. I think that this hat is so cute and it kind of ties in those like sneakers and that athletic look. And then of course to finish it off, I'm gonna go with my little Cassandra bag from YSL, which I think just really kind of complements the whole outfit and kind of adds a little bit more of like an elevated feel to it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing a couple of the pairs I just recently received in from Abercrombie and & Fitch and have absolutely been loving. As I mentioned earlier, these are my favorite denim ever. And also don't forget about the Teddy Blake sale that they're having for Valentine's Day. Such an amazing deal on such a great high quality purse. But we'll see you next time for another video and hope you have a good one. Bye.